يكاد زيتها يضيء ولو لم تمسس هنا This is Khadija Dusabur from womanmoneyinter.com and founder of the Purposeful Muslim Mastermind. I want to take a minute to make this quick video for you today to share a simple but profound piece of advice. Alhamdulillah that we recently wrapped up registration for this first session of the Purposeful Muslim Mastermind. And in that process, I got to speak to a ton of sisters. You know, I spoke to sisters from all around the world, from all different backgrounds, different ages, and there was one common thread. For many of the sisters, it seems that, you know, of course we all go through different trials and hardships and things of that nature. For so many of the sisters that share their struggles, whether it be personal struggles, struggles with career, relationships, with their iman, there seemed to be a common thread. But so many sisters were feeling despondent, unsure of themselves, and not even sure if there was any redemption to be had with their situations, if they were able to recover and move forward. Now, I know it's perfectly normal to feel disappointed or upset or confused at times. We all deal with challenge and hardship, but what I want to share with you today is how staying stuck in that state can actually block the healing and the blessings that we so desperately want and desire. And there's two specific things that I want to share with you today. When we feel like this, we can often be caught up in a very unproductive and even destructive cycle. We're basically so sure that things won't work out that it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So for example, if you have ever known someone or perhaps been in this situation yourself where things seem to always uh, happen as you think they will, like you think that things will never go well for me. You know, I'll always have these obstacles. I'll mess up with this. No one will respond to this request that I have. And then you see that it actually happens that way. It's not so much that people are not responding to you in the right way or things aren't happening for you in the right way, but the energy that you're putting out is actually drawing negativity towards you. It's very counterproductive and it actually limits the amount of effort and work that you put into things and get you subpar results. Now it's good to feel remorseful and reflective because this can fuel positive change. You want to be careful about falling into feelings of hopelessness and helplessness because these feelings actually will block the blessing of Allah and it shows a lack of trust in Allah's decree and the fact that He will eventually aid you. Now I know it can sometimes feel like We've been stuck in a particular pattern for so long. It can sometimes feel like we've had struggle and strife and things have not worked out in our lives, so why bother? Why bother? And I wanted to share this piece of advice with you. This is the main point of this particular video. My message today is this. Choose to start fresh. When I'm working with sisters and with my coaching clients, this is one thing that I bring up often because a lot of times we feel like We've gone through so much. The light at the end of the tunnel is so far away. We're not really sure we can make it. We have so many obstacles in our way. But what I like to tell them is that in every day, every hour, every minute, every moment, you have the opportunity, you have the ability, you're empowered to choose to start fresh. Now, we can think that this means we have to do some major overhaul. And that's not the case. You can choose one little thing to change, one behavior to change, one mindset to change, one action to change, which can, over time, change the trajectory of your life. But you have to start somewhere. Now, this is a topic I'll be delving into a lot with the sisters in the Purposeful Muslim Mastermind. But for anyone listening, I want to challenge you. I want to give you a challenge today that can help you in your own life. 
Now I have a few questions that I'd like you to ask yourself. And the first one is, how can I become empowered today? How can I become empowered today? When I, I'm really big on reflective questions because they really help us to dig down to the root of things and own our ability to make positive changes. So I'd love if you actually would get a piece of paper or a pen or you know, however you like to take notes and answer the question, how can I be empowered today? The second question I'd like you to answer is, what little change can I make today? What little tweak in my life, what little action, what thing can I change that may have a positive impact on my life? And the next question is, how can I change my thought process today? Because a lot of times we get pulled down and pulled into the mud by our thoughts and our feelings and our emotions and just a little tweak, a little change in how we perceive things or how we choose to perceive things really goes a long way to changing our consciousness and how we interact with people and what we experience. Our thought process and how we filter, assign meaning to, and act on information and events in our lives can literally control the outcomes of major events in our lives and how we perform and how we show up. So really thinking about your thought process around certain things and thinking, what are some thoughts that I've had that are very disempowering, that are keeping me stuck, and how can I change those thought patterns around to serve me better? Okay, next I want you to ask yourself, how can I own my feelings today? How can I own my feelings? It's okay to be emotional, it's okay to be sad, to be angry, and a lot of times as women, we stuff those things down. But when we own our emotions, when we claim them, not in a negative way, but own the fact that, okay, this is how I'm feeling right now, and then really dig underneath to see why that is and how we can constructively deal with that, that is a very empowering thing to do and can really help to give us a fresh start in a situation where we may be feeling a little crushed or overwhelmed or unable to move forward. And finally, I just want you to understand that no matter what the challenge you're dealing with, whether in relation to Dean or relationships or career, you have the chance, you have the opportunity to start fresh today. This is Khadija Jusabor from womanbynature.com and the Purposeful Muslim Mastermind. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.